Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. And here, um, yeah, we take a look at the short term wave count. It increasingly makes the impression that Ada just doesn't want to make this sort of wave C to the upside. Yeah, it could very well be that a local high was in place here around 38 cents. And we're going to break here into new lows. I have to tell you that this week, I normally don't do this, but this week here on Binance, I am going to disregard. I do not see it on any other exchange. This week down to exactly 30 cents. Well, it would have actually hit my price target, the 30 cent level where I told you now for, or I've been telling you for many, many months that I would like to see ADA hit the 88.7% FIP level at, at um, 30 cents. But I just can't, I, I just can't see it on any other exchange. I don't think it was a genuine price drop. I think it might have been a glitch. I can't really verify it um, because I can't see it on any other exchanges. So I will at the moment disregard it. It could very well be, and I haven't fully decided yet, it could very well be that I'm going to move to another data source for the next few videos, which means I will move the entire chart onto another exchange. For example, a Kraken, yeah? Um, at the moment, I have to assume that we have made a higher low here yeah, in this sort of possible wave two. Um, and I'll have to disregard the wick. This looks a bit messy now, so I really think I will go to a different data source. Um, otherwise, I would have to say that we've made a new low here and I would have to start the counts again, but on the other charts, it looks completely different, okay? So I'm still, I, I still think we have a possibility to put a higher high here in place in a C wave, but bear in mind, this would just be a three wave structure. I'm still waiting and looking for another low for ADA. Um, basically, I would say that, um, oops, let me go to the one hour chart maybe. So basically, I would say that the move down here, yeah, it, it different possibility. It could be a wave one and we're now putting in a wave two and we will then move down in a wave three. So it could just come down lower, might eventually reach the area even below 20 cents. Um, but the important thing is that this currently looks to me like move down then a wave up b wave down and a possible c wave to the upside will be put in place before we come down lower and the c wave to the upside here is a five wave structure and it could be we've already seen a wave one here a wave two but it really can't go any lower then there should be a wave three up maybe into the region around 37 38 cents a wave four down and a wave five up to finish off this c wave i mentioned it in previous videos as long as it stays below 41.1 cents uh, it is basically constrained here to the downside. I would rather focus on one more low for ADA. Um, if it goes above the 41.1 cent level and then follows through and even breaks that wave too high here at 43.9 or 43.8 cents, then we can, um, yeah, with a very high likelihood, consider something more bullish. But until then, this is just sort of rolling over here, rolling down. Um, and But, you know, there, there's either the possibility, in my opinion, to break down straight away or to make here a slightly, uh, let's say a recovery before we come down and make another lower low. But for me at the moment, the primary expectation, it, it, you know, it doesn't really matter in which of these two ways we get there, but it's still um, lower lows uh, below the 9th of November low. Was that here? Yeah, below that roughly 31.1 cent level. Um, oh no, actually we made a new low here on the 14th of November, didn't we? That was around yeah, okay, no, that was not a new low. So yeah, it is the low from the 9th of November. Um, and again, this could be a one, two setup here. Make that a bit clearer. We broke, however, we broke out of this channel to the downside. That's not a strong sign. You even have here a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern that actually broke. So if I zoom in, we can say that, yeah, you know, possible wave one here, possible wave two, but the problem is, we're now retesting this channel from below, got rejected. And if we now move below the previous swing low here at 31.8 cents, then I think we're gonna come down straight away. There's at least a very good chance for that. If we break above this and then follow through and move above the wave B high at 34.4 cents, then I think we are moving up here in the wave three in yellow. So we're really stuck here sideways, not very interesting price action. And therefore, you know, as long as we really just see sort of this choppy or sloppy price action, the general focus is on the downside, but we need to expect short-term upside is very much possible as long as we're holding this critical support level 
um, that we just talked about. There's there's basically several ones. Um, the first line of support here is 31.8. Then we've got 31.4. And then that low from the 9th of June is at 30.9 cents. So each of these levels reduces the likelihood um, of going up. If we break each of these, you know, and the last one anyway will lead to new lower lows. So that is unfortunately what it is. Not a very interesting chart at the moment. However, what is even more exciting or what is more exciting is... Um, the insanity, <laughs> the insane speed in which our um, MCO stake pool is growing. So I really have to thank the community. Um, I mean, every ADA counts. Really, if you choose to stake your de delegate your ADA to earn passive ADA with your ADA, then and if you like MCO, so more crypto online, and if you want to support the channel and allow us to grow and um, make, you know, better videos and more content and everything, then consider to delegate to our stake pool. It's the MCO More Crypto Online stake pool. It only really is in existence uh, since last week or has been in existence for a week now. So it's very, very new. It hasn't generated any rewards yet. And the reason for that is because it is just so new. Um, a lot of stake pools that are new, it takes them weeks or months to get the community together and the ADA needed to generate rewards because only from approximately 1 million delegated ADA a stake pool generates reliable rewards. Now um, already after a few days we had reached the 1 million which is amazing. Again thank you all for all your delegations. It's amazing. But well we've already got like 5.8 million which is totally ridiculous. So uh, thank you for everybody who has been delegating. Now I've never seen a stake pool grow that fast. Personally, of course, there are stake pools that grow faster, but this is insane speed. And from next epoch, we should be generating rewards. Um, <clears throat> and then this should uh, carry on. You know, it's great. And again, thanks for all your support. Again, if you choose to delegate and support MCO, check out um, the videos in the video description and the link to the stake pool. Thanks so much and hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.